is Jen here. Welcome to another Cook and Chat where we cook and chat. Today we're here with my special guest, Alex, and he's going to show us something really badass. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> so today we're going to make chilaquiles verdes. It's a great hangover dish, uh, but we're going to jump two steps ahead and we're going to drink while we cook so that we don't get the hangover. So we got a whole bunch of green going on here. We got poblano peppers, tomatillos, and jalapenos, along with some onion and garlic. Now this is a tomatillo. It's like kind of papery. Papery. You see, you want the safe route. To me, it feels like cojones. <laughs> and what you'll feel is like kind of sticky, waxy no. uh, layer there. So we're just gonna peel off all of the skin. I love charring these, and that's what we're gonna do with all of the veggies. Put them on parchment and broil them for a little bit. Can we talk about that peel? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like a flower. <laughs> Remember, it has that sticky residue, mm -hmm. so it's great to just wash that off. Place them on the baking sheet. Can I just point out this perfect grid <laughs> Alex has created here? So we're just gonna add some jalapenos too. Now for some onion and garlic. And this just goes under the broiler. So while we wait for that, we're gonna get our drink on and I'm really glad that Alex is here because he is the founder of Cocktail Crate, which is a really awesome and the first craft cocktail mixer company ever. And he's gonna show us how to make some spicy micheladas. Yeah, so we're gonna start out just by making a great uh, garnish for the top of the glass. It's gonna be a salt rim. Well, the first step is gonna be to grate some lime zest. I'm a firm believer that anytime you use citrus, you should use the zest too. It's nothing like the smell of fresh lime. So good. Bread some nice pink Himalayan sea salt. And now some cayenne pepper. Let's give it a little spicy kick. So there's some sriracha in the michelada mix itself. Ooh. But this is, uh, the cayenne's gonna really take it to the next level. So tell us what's in this mix itself. So it's super fresh. Uh, it's fresh orange juice. Fresh lime juice, a really good sriracha made by a friend of mine, and then it's a little pinch of Himalayan sea salt. Now we've actually had Cocktail Crate's sriracha margarita, and it's killer. We've even had it in um, our salad dressing today. That's awesome. It's really good. So versatility, y'all. Get drunk and cook amazingly. So the key to getting the salt rim to stick to the glass is a little lime juice. Just gonna go right around the edge like this, and then give it a little twist here. Basically, you want to fill up each one of the glasses. It's going to keep the drink nice and cold. Uh, and it also has the double effect of helping you not drink too much. All right, now we're going to add some of the Michelada mixer. This should be about two ounces. And now all we got to do is add the beer. <laughs> so this is a beautiful bottle opener, not functional. Not so at all. beauty is in everything. <laughs> Nice save. They look beautiful. Now we just stir them up. Yep, just give it a little stir. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah. It's so crisp. Oh, it's spicy. Spicy, refreshing. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be cooking for a while, right? Mm-hmm. We're gonna make like 10 more of these. Mm-hmm. It's already happening. This is ready, doesn't that look great? It looks amazing. Look at that beautiful char and everything. Now all we have to do is remove the peel. Yep. The onion and the garlic. We're gonna throw everything in a food processor. Earlier I boiled some chicken, so all we have to do is throw in that cooking liquid. Oh, perfect. And that'll like emulsify it. Do people really know what they're saying when they're saying emulsify? Just I do don't. it. No. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> Perfect. Do you want to give it a taste? Mmm, yeah. nice and spicy. Yeah. Mm, and you get those good roasty flavors. Love it. Now we're just going to transfer that to a pot and let it heat up. That just needs to simmer for a little bit. Meanwhile, we're going to shred some of this chicken. So tell us more about how you get started. So uh, after I first had the idea for the cocktail crate, uh, I used Kickstarter and I was able to raise uh, $5,000. Wow. Uh, and it, it was really great. I mean, we started off, I was, it was hand making every bottle, putting the labels on, screwing the cap on here in Queens, and then hopping on the subway and just finding uh, local specialty food stores and seeing if anyone was interested. And the company's really just grown very organically since then. Where can you find Cocktail Crate? 
Uh, so Whole Foods is a great place to find us. The Whole Foods in New York City. Uh, now we're in all the Whole Foods in Northern California, in Baltimore, in DC, and then down in Texas. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. But Thanks can so they much. order it online? Yeah, uh, you can definitely get it on our website. It's cocktailcrate.com. Cheers to your success. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, I think I'm going to need a refill in a bit. Yeah. This has been simmering nicely. Just gonna pop in the chicken. Great, now we're just gonna add some salt and pepper. This looks amazing! Oh my God, Can you yeah. smell that? So good. Real good. Now all we have to do is toss in the tortilla chips. There I just fried these earlier. Really simple to make. All you have to do is cut up a tortilla, fry it, a little salt, done. You know, I only just now figured out where tortilla chips come from. Where'd you think they come from? The tortilla cow? I know you're really hungry. Oh my god, can I eat it yet? Not yet. So we're gonna do my favorite part, which is all the garnishes. So get some queso fresco. Just wanna crumble it all over top. And now some Mexican crema. Now a pop of green with cilantro. And finally some lime. And there you have it, chilequiles verdes with spicy michelada. Mmm. Oh my goodness. I would get hungover just so I could eat this. <laughs> Salud! Mmm. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Be sure to follow Alex and Cocktail Crate on Instagram and Snapchat. Really great, inspirational, yummy stuff on there. I hope you guys give this a try. I'll see you next time. Remember to... Just, just eat life. Mm. Yeah. So good.